this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. And with that, I have to say welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dan, and welcome to the second episode of Thomas Was Alone. Uh, as you can see from last time, we have gained a new friend now. Remember, we have Thomas, Chris, mm -hmm. and now John. Hmm. I don't, know. I don't feel like jumping with him just yet. Well, as you can see, we have a bit to do. We gotta stack these guys just right. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. You can see Where did they come from, anyway? John's starting to... We're starting to see John's personality. the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. As you can see, we can see that John is a pretty big jumper here. He jump a lot better than Thomas can. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. You see, he cares for Chris and Thomas, but it's in one of those weird ways. Thomas, I need you to help Chris up. to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Uh, I think he's kind of one of those fame seekerish types. Okay, 
let's see what here. Oh, let's move out a little bit. Actually, hold on. Chris, you go up here. Thomas, move over. Oh, no. Uh, stay there. John, go this way. Thomas, can jump on the up there. Chris, jump on Thomas, who jumps up there. Thomas, jump again. Platforming at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. personalities are f slightly told on to you a little bit. And it's like, oh, hold on, I gotta go back from. Thomas is the sort of normal looking guy, doesn't really have any full expectations of anything yet. Brand new world, brand new things. Chris being the subpar one, sort of. John, he's kind of, kind of reminds you of the sort of jock in high school that liked to have the image of being able to help all the nerds. He didn't Can mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Hey, having the 
just rearrange them to get this right. <sighs> okay. Let's try this for the third time. John makes the jump. Thomas is down here. You can do it. And jump. Good. Wait for Chris to get back up. Can't make that jump, Thomas. Three buddies. Our friend, Angry again. Orange One, was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Your charismatic leader type, <laughs> sort of. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Themselves are divided into like chapters. There's nine chapters, each with about ten levels in them. So after you get ten, you move on to this next chapter. You see a little bit of the somewhat weird story. So, this was how Claire would die. Who? She knew it would happen eventually. I don't know. Claire. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. It's weird. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Superpowers? <laughs> okay. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, oh. you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. 
now we're introduced to a new character, Claire. The sort of, I'm a bit colorblind, so forgive me, purple square who can float on water. And I believe she's now a superhero. Right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Hmm. The one magnificent Claire. <laughs> See, we have four types. Yep. We have Thomas, the observant one. Chris, the curmudgeon one. John, the sort of social leader, if you will. And Claire, the superhero. Claire arrived just in time. It was, of course, the perfect Don't, moment oh, for superheroes I, to arrive. Ugh. Not self. Don't go in the water. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. However convenient it may be. Okay. What? Chris, you can see sort of more squares. The squares have more of a bad jumping, while the rectangles have a better jump. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. She can just jump out of water. I don't know. It is her superpower. Probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Hmm. Yes, Chris, diabolical Chris, the fiendish Christopher. Makes it weird. <laughs> He's going after the guys that don't have such cool abilities like Chris. Well, the only guy I should say.
side is all the way back here. All right. Okay. Wait. Where had Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Hmm. Well, I think... Claire was honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Well, we'll get back to Claire and her new nemesis Chris, the, the fiendish Christopher, next time. As for as for always, I'm Dan uh, from, Brave, from Bravest Gaming. You can find us at facebook.com slash bravestgaming and twitter.com slash bravestgaming. Remember, capital B, capital G. Please like and subscribe if you like. Bye-bye.